How's it going there? Um, we're going to do a video today where I'm going to draw a holster pattern for a Bond Arms Rowdy. So, let's just get into it, shall we? This is going to be in the waistband holster. So first we're going to start by outlining the weapon itself. And you could do this with nifty uh, holster molds like I, I have, or you can do it if you have the actual gun itself. Obviously make sure it's unloaded. I get these from Kevin's Concealment Holsters. They're awesome. I love them. Ships fast. Price is great. For turning this into a commercial for this guy. Let's get back to business. So, so what we're going to do here is measure... I've got a line drawn here. That's basically where your your finger is going to need to grow to get the gun out. So then you measure how wide the gun is. This one is right at right below an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my stitch lines at half an inch. And you just follow the contour. Of the gun here. And you get that really nice stitch line. Now these can be kind of. <clears throat> they don't have the longest barrels in the world, so they can be kind of funky sometimes, but it will work. I leave at least a quarter of an inch at the bottom for the bottom of the holster. It's kind of an eyeball thing. And then, since this is going to be a fold over, you want to leave... Uh, I do like a quarter of an inch for the fold and a quarter of an inch from the side, so it's still going to equal about a quarter, half an inch, and that should be enough. It's going to be an in the waistband holster anyway, so you don't want it too terribly tight because the waistband is actually going to really compress it there. So we're going to go with a half an inch for the start. Boom, boom. Just like that. Now you design what you want it to look like. So you're going to need to you need to attach this here, this clip here, and it'll go right about there. So let's go ahead and draw that in. Might change a little, give it, give or take, but. You get the actual design up. Sometimes I do, but that's about it. it. It's about, you want your belt about level with the trigger. So just so we know where that belt loop's going to go. So we can draw around it. Okay, I went ahead and erased that one line, although I, I still know it's there. I think I will come up a little like so. There we go. And then you want to leave eh, 3 sixteenths on the end of your stitch line. I go a little wider at the bottom, round it out, like so. Now, when I do the holster, I might leave the clip there. I might bring it up a little higher. Just all depends on how I'm feeling that day. Because these actually, they don't even clip in there. They have a separate piece that is sandwiched in between that's going to get sewn on there. So that would still fit there. That's probably about where that clip will end up leaning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace all this out so you can see it a little better. So what I've done here is a little fast forward to the future. So I outlined this a little darker so you can see it a little better, hopefully. And I cut this out. So I put a ruler right here so it's nice and level and even. And I flip it over here. And I trace it right there. All right, so we got to cut out. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of look and make sure that everything 
fits good in a paper fashion. I use um, file folders because they're they're thicker, they fold up better, and it gives you a pretty accurate representation of what your leather is going to work like with it. So, what I do is I put the gun in there and I see the shape. I mean, it's looking good. I'll be able to get the stitch in there. Doesn't stitch line doesn't look too loose or anything like that. And the clip will go just about right there where we drew it. That's the what the reinforcement piece will look like. That'll be a leather piece it'll be sandwiched into, but yeah. There we go. Inside the waistband holster. I'll do a video up next too of making this actual holster. Stay tuned for that. Hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, check out the website mstoutdoors.com. Everything will be in the description below. Thank you. Have a good day.